Good afternoon, and welcome to another reluctant episode of Diatribes from the Voice of Doom. And now here's your apocryphal and slightly deranged host, Voice of Doom. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. And I guess you're noticing that my mind is slightly deteriorating. And I looked it up because I like to be my own counsel and psychiatrist. And I medicate myself without a license. Apophenia is the tendency to mistakenly find connections between unrelated things. Paranoia, a mental disorder based on delusionment and unreasonable suspicion. And I realized, yes, okay, I'm succumbing. And I should be institutionalized, which will take a load off my mind in more ways than one. Um, I wasn't even going to do a diatribe because the weekend was so boring that I thought uh, nothing's going to happen. And I decided I was going to stop watching so much of this news business because it's going to drive me up a wall kind of calm, but I'm a little bit, it's just going to drive me crazy because I'm seeing a lot of news from a lot of places and it's disturbing. So I decided, well, I'm creating my own paranoid world. Like I said, I'm the center of my own universe and I'm creating a madhouse around me because I'm looking at all this. If I don't look at it, then it's not part of my universe. So, Telling that to my kid, and he's like, Yeah, you should get into more peaceful endeavors and not be so hung up on what's happening because he knows everything's going to hell. And so I was thinking that, and then I didn't really watch too much news over the weekend, and then I went to work on Sunday night, and the news gets around when it's bad. It takes no time at all. And I'm like, oh, I don't have anyone watching the news. And the guy goes, oh, then I guess you didn't hear about the the disaster in Wisconsin. And I go, what, in Kenosha? And, and he goes, no. Someone ran through a parade with their car, with their vehicle, and hit a bunch of people and killed a few, and it's bad. And I'm like, great. This is what we need. So it just happens to be 30 miles northwest of Kenosha in a little town that's just celebrating a community gathering, which I know all about because I live in that kind of town. And it's horrific because it's random. And then I'm going, well, let's see how this pans out because now I have to watch the news and see what this is all about. And last night, Sunday, I was thinking, let's see how this pans out. Because it could be any number of people for any number of reasons. And depending on the reason, the media is going to have a cow. One way or the other. And I was talking to my kid. And we were talking about different permutations of what it could be. <clears throat> how things could be definitely, you know, like, for instance, if it's some Antifa guy that's mad about the verdict that happened, then it's going to be played one way, and it's possibly going to be squelched, and maybe we'll never hear from that guy again. But maybe if it was a mega-wearing guy who was mad about whatever, um, then the media would absolutely have a heyday. A cow. They would slaver and they would drool and they would never let Trump hear the end of it. And so I thought, well, I don't know, we'll let it see how it pans out. And I said, well, it'd be funny if it was a black guy because then what are they going to do? <clears throat> Got up this morning, looked at the news, and lo and behold, domestic guy, a guy that was a career criminal, a guy that should have been in jail, a guy that was not Caucasian. So now what are they going to do? It should be interesting to see how this all pans out. 
my prediction is there will be a arraignment and then we'll never hear anything about that again. So that's the way that goes. I don't have anything written down. I'm looking at the paper like what I'm going to say next. Okay, so since I was on the news and looking at that, I decided I would just do the usual and browse through what's going on. And I'm noticing something that people should start to really notice. And it's part of the overall conflagration that I've been predicting, which is really a hard prediction. Gee, something bad's going to happen. But it's a precursor, and it's disturbing. And I don't know what the real bottom line is or for why it's happening, so let's talk about what's happening. There are riots and demonstrations and protests going on absolutely everywhere on this planet, everywhere. And they're not peaceful. And some people are just really up in arms. And I mean, you know, let's start with the EU. They're laying down strict guidelines, stricter than ever, about getting vaccinated and the spikes in the occurrences of COVID and the raise of 10% in deaths and insisting that the anti-vaxxers are causing all this problem and so they're clamping down i mean clamping down making 2020 look like nothing 2020 was a jamboree boy scout jamboree compared to what they're gonna do now i mean what they're doing now what they've done in australia what they've done in eu and what they're going to do in what used to be the united states now, in the United States, we have a certain thing called don't ask, don't tell. Started with the good old Jefferson. And he had a dilemma because he wanted to allow gays in the military, but the military didn't want gays in there, which was, you can imagine what a different kind of world it was. And I'm not saying... There shouldn't be gays in the military. I had no dog in that fight, and I know there were plenty of gays in the military. Plenty. So, never mind that. The point of the matter is, is <clears throat> Jefferson wanted to make it more open and not make it secret, So, but they couldn't really come to grips with it, so they come, came up with this don't ask, don't tell. So, no matter what you think, you don't talk about it. And that philosophy is permeated permutated society and permeated society um, through the decades to where you just don't ask and don't tell about anything in America. That's just the way it is. I mean, you almost have to have secret handshakes or something to start talking about a subject. So you don't talk about being an anti-vaxxer in America. That's There's no such thing as an anti-vaxxer. There's only people that choose not to get it for religious reasons or because they're waiting for more data or because they may be afraid that it may have, you know, an adverse effect, or they may be just not into getting shots, and they choose not to. But they're in Europe, they're being vilified as anti-vaxxers. So the schism within the tribes is beginning, and there's more division. And it's bad. If you look on Gravitas... And some real news places, it's really bad, really bad. Netherlands, La Hague, um, all through Western Europe. Italy is, Italy is going real Nazi, you know, I mean, full on. So that upset me a bit, so I thought I'd better talk about it. And then I know that there's connections with all these things, with all these immigrants that aren't really immigrants, and these absolutely ridiculous edicts from what pretends to be some sort of a government, and the pandemics, and just all the, you know, real, you know, nobody really knows anything. And... I get into the conspiracy theories again because I've always been a little bit into it, and a lot of the old conspiracy theories are like old hat. It's like, oh yeah, there's a secret shadow government. Everybody's like, yeah, right. 
It's like, come on. It's a given now. In fact, most of the conspiracies that were considered fantastical 20 or 30 years ago are now like common knowledge, except for who killed JFK, because that will never be known by any person alive um, or dead. But yeah, I get into conspiracy, and then I get apophenia. I get a tendency to mistakenly find connections between unrelated things. But since I'm a Buddhist, I can safely say that everything's related. And so, that puts to bed that theory of apophenia. Because there's no such thing as apophenia. They're just talking about apophenia like someone thinks that the person they saw looking at them funny in the store is the same person they saw somewhere else you know, looking at them funny, or there's two weird coincidences, or, and that goes with paranoia, and I will be there, I will be babbling in a chair, I mean, I hope it's a nice place, you can play cards, or, you know, Trivial Pursuit and things, because most of those mental patients aren't too, you know, they're, they're pretty bright, so I'm looking forward to maybe being committed, but, it's still disconcerting to see all this violence because it looks apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. My teeth are giving me trouble today. I mean, I know you think I'm a young, real cool guy, but yeah, not real. Um, we won't speak of such things. That's cause and effect for you. Another subject I can get into, but I was uh, disconcerted. And I didn't even talk much about this um, person, I guess, who just took it upon himself to drive through a crowd because he was mad at his life. And I won't talk about the justice system that allowed him to be out in the first place, which from all indications, when people do a cursory look at his record, know that he shouldn't have been out of prison. And the idiot morons want to release everybody from prison because they're all basically, there's no justice. They've all been convicted on false pretenses. So they should all be released from prison. And they should all be free to run over crowds in Christmas parades. I know, it's callous. And it's sardonic. But I think it's going to keep on happening. I think there's going to be muckers in the book. People just can't handle the chaos anymore, and they just go freaking nuts. And I think that's going to be kind of a new trend that will be starting just about yesterday. Um, enough of that subject. It's not even going to be a long one because I had nothing planned. just wanted to talk about apophenia, and I wanted to talk about this interesting turn of events. It's a shame that some of these ridiculously disgusting news outlets can't find something to really chew on so they really have a good reason but I don't know we want to outlaw cars now if it was an electric car that would have been very ironic but we won't you won't put those kind of things in there um that's it I got nothing more to say today and it won't even be that good I'm sorry I'll try better next time. Oh, I did get a fan comment. Someone actually liked what I did. So I'm happy about that. Uh-huh. Have a good day and enjoy the rest of your life.